Hey everyone, so first of all, I have to make an apology. I'm a day late. If you've been following these fasting videos and you've been holding on to this one, I doubt there's many people out there, we'll see. Uh, but this is the final review. How did I feel on that final day in the final moments of the 72 hour fast? So for those of you who are maybe watching this for the first time, up here you'll see the very first video explaining why I did a 72 hour fast. And then following on from that, you can catch the next two videos during the process. However, in that final day, um, generally what I'd found is my sleep quality had got a little bit better. And in the morning, I woke up feeling still a little bit hazy, hadn't gone through um, fully through the ketogenic kind of process, but that's probably because I wasn't consuming fats where previously in the past I've done um, zero carb diets before and I've felt the ketogenesis kick in and the fats kind of kick in and that kind of free wave of, of, of energy flowing throughout the brain. That said, still the same thing, having a mind of not having to eat and not having to worry about going cook food made me feel very productive. And in that final day, it was very much about waiting down until I consumed food. I did it with my partner and my both my partner and I are both uh, massive foodies. So we enjoy our food, although this year I have decided to have a year off any food that is high in sugar content, or at least artificial sugar content, and that for me is a big thing because I have a sweet tooth. However, we were constantly talking about what is it that we're going to have, what are we going to break our fast with, what foods are we going to get, and we actually decided to go food shopping three hours before the end of the fast. We ended up having the most expensive food shop we ever had. Anyway, that said, what we decided to do is we decided to cook one of our favorite meals. We didn't break the fast with that, but we did decide to cook one of our favorite meals as a couple together to kind of celebrate and to also experiment with uh, cooking some new food that we had never cooked before. So when I woke up, um, there was moments where I was going to the fridge. I was looking in the fridge. There was anticipation. It's like, oh, okay, I can have food soon. And that was more so at the back of my mind than the prior two days. But I still had a reasonably good day. A little bit weak and tired feeling in like kind of the arms and the legs. Um, however, mentally pretty clear. And I managed to solidly get through some new blogs and, and some quite intensive conversations um, on my certification program, which are quite in-depth teaching, probably up to a standard of a not used to the university degree or maybe a little bit higher. And some of those thought processes, I found myself getting stumbled up in a little few words, but not so much. They were early in the morning, same as the, the previous uh, video that I recorded on here. That was also early in the morning, so maybe my brain wasn't working as properly. So I can't separate that between and the, uh, the lack of food. However, I did make a mistake, and that mistake was to consume too much, um, uh, potentially too much magnesium, either too much magnesium, vitamin C, or I had a tea, which was like a digestive tea, had no caffeine in it, but it, the herbs were quite strong. And in that final day, I had um, uh, you know, a GI disruption, so I was on the toilet often, not a lot of shit coming out but a fair bit of water passing straight through me so that was leaving me a little bit lightheaded and probably low in sodium um, as a result of that or low in I don't know, hydro, hy hy hydrolytes as a result of that ions whatever word you want to use and that meant that it put me kind of a little bit of risk of getting cramps I started getting cramps in my quadriceps when I was walking towards the end of the day as soon as I consumed some food that went away so leading up throughout the day, coming up to the evening, we decided that we were going to break fast around about 7 p.m., which was 72 hours after. So we went to um, uh, Woolworths. I'm not sponsored by Woolworths. It's just the place that we decided to go to. And we did a huge shop, like I said. And we decided that we we're going to break fast with something easy. So we got some apricots. And apricots just a gentle fruit. You know, we can sit in, in the stomach and it can digest fairly easy. And we had those. And they were the most delicious apricots we'd ever had. And I haven't had apricots that often. I'm not a massive fan. But both of us took a bite into it and it was just juicy. It was just flavorsome. And there was just obviously that 
that anticipation and the rise in dopamine was just giving us that ultra pleasure hit, which was interesting because the the diet itself or the fast itself was about avoiding or being more aware of using food as a reward center. So I have to keep that on board. Then we decided to cook a pad thai. We both love thai food. Thai food is probably my favorite food. More so my partner is a uh, Vietnamese, but Vietnamese food for me doesn't fill me up enough. So therefore I have to eat twice the amount, which costs a twice the amount. But thai food generally is pretty good. And it was like order a thai pad thai, but nah, I didn't want to do that um, for reasons of the amount of oils and crap they put in it and you know the 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 uh, additives and preservatives they might put them in, in, a, in a takeaway shop versus going to a shop and buying it all ourselves and cooking it. And it wasn't that challenging. It wasn't that challenging, but I have to say we absolutely nailed it. Very simple to make, but my God, it was delicious. And we're going to be making that again. We've got enough ingredients now because of the ingredients have to, you have to buy. You can't just buy small bits of uh, coconut oil and fish sauce and, and uh, tamarind paste and all that stuff. So we've got all that ready for us to make it again, which is great because I love pad thai. Who doesn't love pad thai? Let me know in the comments if you don't love pad thai because you're a bit strange. Um, anyway, we ate a lot of that food. Our stomachs got full, but both of us still wanted to eat more. And that would make sense. Now, our body is uh, being driven now by dopamine to seek out food, but also our hunger hormones, our, our, our ghrelin levels, which is ghrelin is a, a hunger hormone, would have shot up and leptin levels would have been low. So we consumed a bit of food and then had a bit of some more and decided to go to bed. And that night, in fact, I had a reasonably good sleep. Um, although I woke up very early and I think again that's down to my body just getting into this kind of natural circadian rhythm of now waking up when the light comes up around about 5.30 in the morning which I don't mind um, and since that food I felt great I felt energetic, energized um, yes I'm having to think about cooking but I have decided that I will go to the gym, have a smoothie after, then have some uh, bre a late breakfast, and then won't consume much food until it's then dinner time. So that allows me to keep that productivity throughout that day between, uh, let's say, 10, 30, 11, all the way up to 5 p.m., 5.30, that is just focused on deep work. Obviously, I have breaks in between to ensure that I'm recovering and resting. Um, but that is now the new process. I feel... My body is slightly leaner, which was a, you know, a positive side effect of what the uh, you know, byproduct of this. And I am trained for the first time back yesterday. And though my strength was low, my conditioning and recovery fell a lot faster. Can't put anything to that other than maybe potentially having the rest of two days and stocking up on carbohydrates and the pad thai and the, the fruits. Um, not going to delve into that too much of why that might be. Maybe some because uh, of the new sales product or autophagy, maybe the mitochondria is working a little bit better. I don't know about the science. Anyway, it was a nice process to go through. My partner uh, just found that in the final day that she felt a lot better, but she said she's never going to do it again. I think I want to go longer next time. I think I want to maybe go up to the 100 hour mark or maybe with the five day marks, but we'll see. Um, I hope you follow along, enjoyed this. If you learned something, drop a comment if you have any questions below and thank you for tuning in.